The Bible has magic in it. And the Bible also has violence in it. But we still read the Bible, right? <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Reform Nerd. So today the topic is anime. And the question is, should Christians watch anime? By the way, before we get started, let me know in the comments which anime was your favorite anime growing up. Now, I grew up watching animes like Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball, Yu Yu Hakusho, Saint Seiya, Inuyasha, you name it. Anything that was in Cartoon Network, I watched it. And this was a time where watching anime really wasn't the coolest thing in the world. And to be honest, if you, if people knew that you were watching anime, you would really look that as a weirdo. But little did they know, little did those infidels know that these weirdos that are here today were actually just ahead of the game. <laughs> now I say this because in today's day and age, anime is all over the place. It is widely accepted to the point where even Disney is considering making their own anime. And even pastors in churches are wondering what this whole anime thing is about. In fact, in my church, I know of a pastor that's trying to get into anime because he sees so many of our youth are getting into it and are actively watching it. And this is why I think that the question that we're looking at today is so important because I believe that anime is only going to grow in popularity and us as Christians should know how to respond to this. <laughs> now the first question is, can Christians watch anime? And the answer to this is a big fat yes, Christians can watch anime. <laughs> Now the second question is, should Christians watch anime? And the answer to this is a resounding maybe. <laughs> I say maybe because this question is like asking a Christian, and in fact anybody, should you read a book or should you watch a movie? It all depends in what you're reading or what you are watching. The medium itself is not the issue. The issue is what you are exposing yourself to. This issue is not as simple as this anime has magic, so you shouldn't watch it. Or this anime has killing, so you shouldn't watch it. Look guys, the Bible has magic in it, and the Bible also has violence in it. But we still read the Bible, right? <laughs> So what we need to do is put our big Christian boy and girl pants and really learn to discern what we should be doing. The Bible calls us to avoid sin and it also calls us to be mindful of our actions lest we cause somebody else to sin. So like anything else, consuming anime needs to be looked through a critical lens. We need to look at what the anime is about what it is promoting and think through whether this anime is appropriate for us to watch. We need to think through, is this anime causing me to sin? Is this anime causing me indirectly to cause someone else to sin? These are the questions that we should be asking ourselves when we're making the decision of, should I be watching an anime or not? So overall, watching anime is not a sin. Watching anime is not bad. The question is, what animes are you watching and what is the effect that that anime is having in your own life? And if the anime itself checks one of the boxes of it's causing you to sin or it's causing you to cause someone else to sin, then you should not be watching this anime. Now, I think that the next video I'm going to do on this topic is going to revolve around what things to consider when watching an anime or considering watching an anime. But let me know in the comments if this is something that you're interested in watching and this is something that you would like more information on. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to share, like, and subscribe so you don't miss any other videos from me. 
As always, I just want to remind you that we must persevere.